Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today we've got a new video for you. Basically, um, we're going to be doing a review on this direct box in my hand here. Um, it's a DI box. We'll go over it here in a second. Um, so let's start with what's new. Um, not a lot is new in the studio. We, we keep working on stuff, trying to get the space better, more um, kind of congruent. We're working on some kind of videos that are instructional type. You know, kind of like, hey, how we mic stuff, why we mic stuff, when to, when not to, you know, all those fun things that um, we've been working on with Luna. So, yeah, we're back in Luna. We tried to do a run with Logic again, just didn't work out. So we're back in Luna. We're going to do some videos on that. So be on the lookout for some more content like that. And, um, oh, we got a new chair, which I'll go over here um, probably in some videos. I like that it spins and you can't hear it. Um, so anyways, on to today's video. Today's video, we have a warm audio direct box. It's just, it's literally called direct box. There's not like a funny name for it. Like there are other stuff like, you know, WA 12, you know, or whatever. Um, no, it's just a direct box. It's a passive direct box. It's WA on the front of it. As you can see here, I'll hold it up closer. I've got quite so much glare here, but you can see just big WA like all their stuff on the back You've got uh, a variable pad which you can turn on and off which I very Very happy to have something like that Especially in the studio where you're like I just need a little bit like I've got the gain down Everywhere is gain down except for the direct box. So I can just and then gain it down turn it on gain it down um, it Does have an XLR And that's really it on uh, the back side on the front side here you have a bunch of switches um, you have an amp out and you also have input your through output um, phase which is very handy um, especially if you're doing like bass you know and it's like oh man this sounds a little funky well, let's flip the phase and see what it does great or you're doing um, like guitar di type stuff like oh i'm going to di the electric and run it through an amp phase is very handy um, and let's have ground lift, uh, for when things are buzzy. Um, the box from what I can tell is all metal. Like there's, it's not plastic at all on it. Kind of knock on it. It's got a little foam pad on the bottom. So it doesn't slide around quite so much on the floor. Um, it's got like pretty much four or six screws holding it together. Um, it's all metal. It's a black and silver box. Very very well put together. Um, what I like about warm audio stuff, especially in a direct box, which I haven't been able to find one that's super cheap, um, is they've got Cinemag transformers in all their direct boxes. Um, I love the Cinemag transformer. I've got a bunch of stuff over here and in the racks or all around me here. I've got Cinemag transformers of some kind or transformer itself. So anyways, um, having the cinema transformer in this, which is nice, it's going to give you a nice even output. Um, also, it's going to give you a little bit of color. Um, transformers can give you a little bit of color. Um, it's not major color, but um, just a little bit, just a touch. But honestly, to find one with a Cinemag transformer, I've looked at them and they're in the close to $1,000 range. Where this guy, I believe, knew they run about $100, maybe a little more. Um, so I picked this guy up used. So this is actually a used unit I bought at our local music ground. And uh, that's really about it to the box. Um, we're going to use it probably. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to use this for here in the studio. We'll find a use for it. Um, I'm sure maybe we'll try it on acoustic sometimes, sometimes on bass. A lot of the times if we're plugging something DI, we use the high Z inputs on our... Uh, Apollos, which is great. Usually we're not doing more than two. We have four high Z inputs. Most of the time we're only using two. Um, if that, most of the time it's just one uh, high Z input. So like we're gonna do bass, I'll plug it in that way. And I've got long enough chords to go all around our space here. So our bass players are just direct or electric guitars just direct or something. But this could be a good substitute for when I need more. So, I don't know, we'll do maybe a video shootout between this and the high Z input on our Apollo. I don't know, we'll do some stuff with it. But that's kind of that in a nutshell. Um, wanna say thank you uh, to 
to those who have watched our videos. Uh, also, um, have hit the subscribe button. Thank you for that too. Um, this video is kind of not super long. It's, it's basically just on that direct box. So, um, yeah, that's all we gotta do is that essentially. Um, hit that like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time.